We all love overpowered main character, and when there is a touch of magic it gets better. So today I'm suggesting you guys with 10 anime where overpowered main character goes to magic school, and as for the irregular at magic high and some other magic school anime I'm not including them here. But before we start be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications to never miss upcoming videos. In 10th place comes in Spirit Blade Mountain, the story revolves around our male main character Ariko and his journey to becoming a sage. The beginning of the story flows rather nicely, showing the characters and placing them in the trials that would determine whether or not they gain entry into the Raikensen clan, which seems to be the best clan to be in. However after the first few episodes of being able to follow the story we are given massive time skips, more precisely years of time skips. This anime is a collaboration of Japan and China, and has a lot of Chinese culture in it. So it might be a little difficult to understand for those who don't know a single thing about Chinese culture. In ninth place is Unlimited Fafner, the story follows you, who is the only boy in existence to have the power of D. D is a special power which can only be used by girls to destroy powerful and destructive beings named dragons. Now you attend the school for D hoping to harness and utilize their powers against the dragons. Yu is the latest member and is extraordinary for being the only known male D in existence. Now, he must forge relationships with the girls around him, including his long-separated sister who attends the school as well, and work with them to investigate and eliminate the threat of the powerful dragons. In 8th place is Qualidia Code, on a quiet and peaceful day, the skies split open and extra-dimensional beings, designated as the unknown, launch a swift and brutal attack against humanity. To protect the future of the country, all of Japan's children are cryogenically frozen until the end of the war to keep them out of harm's way. Several years pass and humanity has established a foothold in a corner of Japan, which now serves as the front line of the war. No longer facing humanity's extinction, the children are awakened from their slumber. It is then discovered that, while in cryogenesis, the children had developed worlds, supernatural powers unique to each person. The six most powerful children are given command of the reclaimed cities, using their powers to defend the strongholds against the continuing invasion. In seventh place is Sky Wizards Academy, years ago, Humanity almost got wiped out by huge magical armored insects that had become too strong and aggressive to handle. Because of these giant bugs, humans do not live on the earth anymore but in floating cities instead. However, this does not mean that everything is lost, because the wizards from prestigious floating wizard academies are fighting these monsters. Kanata is a young man now labeled as a traitor even though he was once praised as the Black Master Swordsman. He gets a chance to repair his reputation by instructing the team E601, which seems to be facing some difficulties. It consists of three girls, Mizora Wital, Lekti Eisenach, and Rico Flamel, each with problems of their own. In 
In sixth place is Tokyo Ravens, the story of this anime is pretty historical, at first when I was watching this anime, I felt a little bit bored, but to my surprise the story gets better and better, things begin to get interesting every episode, and a plot twist at the end left me jaw opened. Honestly this anime was a really good one in my opinion with a touch of romance and history along with magic. In fifth place is Kwanzi Fashi aka Full Time Magister, the aloof high schooler Mofan has found himself in a universe similar yet distinctly different from his own mundane one, it's a place where magic has replaced the essence of science. Here, the most capable students are taught to master the wonders of spellworking to fend off large devastating beasts that lurk in the forests surrounding the city. In this new place, Mofan is accepted into a renowned magic institution. However, rumors spread about his poverty and lack of magical ability, labeling him as the laughing stock of the school. Nonetheless, Mofan manages to harness not only the powerful fire element, but also the rare lightning element. In fourth place is World Break, Aria of Curse for a Holy Swordsman, the story takes place in a world with magic where people who have knowledge or memories of their past life are being trained to use ancestral arts so that they can serve as defenders against monsters, called metaphysicals, who randomly attack. These people go to Akane Private Academy. Our protagonist Moroha Hainura is one of them. I found this anime to be pretty enjoyable, but I do think it is ridiculously underrated, I'd say definitely give it a try if you haven't already. In third place is Dragonar Academy, learning to ride and tame dragons comes easy to most students at Ansar Ivan Dragonar Academy except for first year student Ash Blake, who is known by his fellow classmates as the number one problem child. Poor Ash is the laughing stock at school because, despite his unfashionably large star-shaped brand that marks him as a future dragon master, he has nothing to show for it. His dragon has never appeared. But one fateful day, Ash's dragon awakes in full glory, but appears different than any dragon ever seen before in the form of a beautiful girl. This anime was pretty decent in my opinion, and if you haven't watched it yet consider giving it a try, you will enjoy it. In second place is Wise Man's Grandchild, the story follows Shin Wolford, who was reincarnated into a different world by getting hit by a truck in his previous life. He is then raised by Merlin Wolford, one of the most strong and powerful magician of that world. Using the knowledge gained from his previous life Shin is way too overpowered in this new world, but he lacks many social skills and common sense. Most probably almost all of you have watched this anime already, and if you haven't then consider giving it a try. Even if the story is way too common as most Esekai still it was pretty enjoyable to me. In first place is Welcome to Demon School. 14-year-old Iruma Suzuki has been unfortunate all his life, having to work to earn money for his irresponsible parents despite being underage. One day, he finds out that his parents sold him to the demon Sullivan. However, Iruma's worries about what will become of him are soon relieved, for Sullivan merely wants a grandchild, pampering him and making him attend the demon school Babels. At first, Iruma tries to keep a low profile in fear of his peers discovering that he is human. Unfortunately, this ends up being more difficult than he expected. It turns out that Sullivan himself is the chairman of the school, and everyone expects him to become the next Demon King. This anime was really enjoyable to me, and the best parts are the comedy that happens in this show. If you haven't watched it yet this should be the next show you watch. Alright guys that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed this list. Be sure to subscribe for more if you haven't already, also you can join our discord server, and if you have free time feel free to visit my merch store website Facebook.